Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get right on into this. Um, this whole um Mika taking side to the hospital debacle, real quick. Um, you know, uh, a few uh a few of y'all had left comments wanting me to go ahead and touch basis on this. It's like I'm just playing only saw one comment. <laughs> But one person requested it. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get it done. All right, y'all. So let me go ahead and share my screen real quick. Listen, we got to start from the beginning real quick. And I, we're not going to watch the whole entire thing. We're on, I'm only going to start with the ending part where she's actually talking real quick. Hold on. <laughs> Push it down to get to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, post a video, you know, post a video. We get ready to go ahead and leave. Dobbs didn't see nothing major wrong. Um, he asked a few questions and looked at her and her ears and everything. Because I had a couple concerns as being a mom. Um, when she lays awake at night sometimes, so she just whining and cranky. For The doctor came in. Um, the doctor came in. There's nothing wrong. Um, so they're gonna go ahead and send us home. So I wanted to make sure everything was okay. Cause um, mind you, remember she. I mean, I don't know. Understand her. She just does not remember her lies. So right now she's saying that there's nothing wrong. We'll get into the next. Video. You know, a little times at night she gets fussy, and I was trying to figure out why she was fussy. So they don't see nothing wrong. So we getting ready to go. We wait. We've been in here for five hours. It was worth it because I wanted to know exactly what was going on with my baby. So she's doing great. She's doing good. And um, he says there's no rupture to the ear, anything of that nature. Everything looks great. Um, follow up with her uh, pediatric in about two weeks if I feel like if I have any more concerns or anything. We're just going to bring it in because of the crying that I feel like something was wrong. But hey, check out. Nothing is wrong. So, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, post the video, and you will know. Okay, she always crying. I mean, girl, now all of a sudden you're worried and concerned? Okay, great. So, let's go ahead and go into this next video. So, we all saw, you know, we all heard, my bad, we all heard what Nika had just said. She just said that the doctor said that there was nothing wrong with um, Side, that she's perfectly fine, and they're about to go ahead and get sent home. So let's go ahead and pay, look at this uh, video real quick. Some family. And I believe it's just only the first part that we're going to go ahead and take a look at at this video. Dang, <laughs> people, 182 comments on this. All right, come on, shit. Or whatever, it's when she calls. He, he trying to say it's okay, not me. go me. back. Oh, no, so I'm about to get up and off my ass, because I'm tired. Go in here and prepare these plates for these kids. And then I'm going to go in there, get their clothes out of school, shower like I do every night. That shower puts me right down to sleep once I take a shower. Me and the girls take a shower together, and then we go to bed. Um, Kira and, I, and Elijah is, um, and uh, Kira, Elijah, and Isaiah are still laying down. Lodging his bed, I said his bed, and Kira's in my bed, so they still laying down. So I'm about to get them up to eat. I hate to wake them up, but I just got in with side size doing good. Just, just you know, gave me a little bit of antibiotic for her, or whatever for her little um, mucus. That's uh, just a little bit of mucus is all he's seen. Um, didn't do no extras and none of that stuff. So she's doing better. But once we we went to the um, we went to the uh, CVS to go pick up her medicine, but they didn't have none. So we got to go back tomorrow and pick it back up because she got to take the antibiotic. Uh, for like seven days and antibiotic is just for uh the mucus um that's coming out of her mouth or whatever <sighs> why why nika why must you lie why don't you just not say nothing is it that hard for you to do is to keep your keep your mouth closed why don't you just not don't say anything how are you gonna say oh the mucus coming out of her mouth but you're pointing at your fucking ears come on now come on now make it make sense make it make sense nika I mean, we we understand, you know, you worried about CPS watching or whatever. You think you're about to get in trouble just because your daughter has an ear infection. Okay. But why not? If, if you're not going to tell the truth, then don't say nothing at all. Matter of fact, we didn't, uh, you could have just showed you taking her to the hospital or, or, or whatnot. Don't say nothing. You're so stupid. 
First it was, oh, the doctor said everything's good. She's fine. Now it's, oh, she has mucus in her mouth, but you're pointing at your ears. Girl, stop. Stop it right now. Stop it. Talking about she was concerned because Sai kept on waking up in the middle of the night, crying and stuff. That All that baby do is cry. What are you talking about? How? Listen, it was, what, two months ago? I've, I've been, see, been seeing her pulling at her ears. Where have you been, Nika? Oh, yeah, my bad. You haven't been there. You're gone all fucking day, out ripping and running around, you and Naya, while that baby's at the house. She having high fevers. Laying around, and you think it's okay to fucking leave her there with a high ass fever with an 18 year old who's not even paying attention? Who gives a fuck if he's 18 or not? He's listen, he's not a responsible person. He's in there playing his damn video games. She's having a high ass fever, laying around, not eating, not drinking. And then you tr and then you try to come home, sit her in a high chair, make her eat. She's irritable. She don't want to fucking eat nothing because she's in pain. She ha she's sick. People been telling you for months to take this baby to the hospital. Take her to the doctor. Take her to her doctor. How come you why didn't you take her to her doctor? You what you think your doctor is going to get in, in um, touch with CPS or something? Is that what it is? I mean, why you why are you so afraid to say? That she has an ear infection. Is it? Is it? It must have been really bad to where you had to take her to the um to the hospital. You must have been seeing drainage coming out of her ears. That's what made you take her. It wasn't her getting up in the middle of the night fucking crying because she cries all the time. You saw it coming out her ears. That's why. That's why that that's why the, the, the doctor that was the first thing the doctor checked when he came into the room. He went based off of what you told her, what you told them. They didn't give her a full body exam. I mean, they didn't um examine her full body because you told him that there was drainage coming out of her ear. So that's what they're going to check. Instead of being instead of being uh, running to go roam around the streets and eat at the eateries when um, Naya's dumb ass. You should have been home, bitch. Listen, let me tell you something. This dumb ass hoe, she pissing me off. She pissing me off. You really pissing me off because <clears throat> y'all dumb ass decided to lay around and keep on having kids. That baby is still a baby. You keep your retarded ass at home with her. Nobody give a fuck about you running to go have a fucking peace of mind, bitch. Now, I'm all for parents, especially mothers, going out there and getting a break every now and then. Not every fucking day. And plus, you don't have no reliable adult, no responsible adult in that house to watch those kids while you fucking up and go. If you wanted to be out roaming the streets all fucking day and night, bitch, you should never fucking ha kept on having kids. You should have stopped when CPS first got in your damn life and took those kids the first time. No, but you want to stick around, still lay around and having kids just to prove a point that you still messing around with Hayward to any girls that, he mess that he's messing with. Look at you now. Look at you now. Shoot, something really like so. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that Sai is still here with us today. I honestly am. Cause um at this point, I don't give a fuck. Nika and Naya, they need to be they need to be locked the fuck up. This is ridiculous. Why the fuck you need why why you need Naya to go out everywhere with you? Oh, so she could be a bodyguard just in case somebody out on the street say something to you. You think Naya can fight? Okay, great. Okay, okay. That's what it is. I I just can't. I, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Bitch took herself to the fucking doctors because her fucking throat was hurting. How do you think the baby felt? How do you think the baby felt? You you got all these fucking kids. You mean to tell me now none of them kids ever had an ear infection? You had all these kids. You didn't notice the symptoms. So she was suffering 
for months because of you. She was in pain for months because of you. And you what? You just you just going about it like it's just a whole nother day, bitch. You was just out the other night. Oh, my bookies bought me some um, lunch, so I went to I went ahead and got me some lunch, bitch. What what the fuck? Really? I mean, just because somebody buy you lunch, you go out there and get it? No, no. Here you go again. Here you go again. Now it would have been real fucking funny if they bought if they set your stupid ass up, bought you lunch, and then had a police officer go over to a police officer go to your house to do a wellness check and check that them kids was left there unfucking supervised. Guarantee you, as soon as you leave out that house, them kids are outside. Neighbors coming inside. You don't know what the fuck going on. Just because you got cameras, the cameras ain't everywhere. They know the blind spots. Stupid. You got cameras outside your house? No? Oh, okay. The fuck you don't know? We don't know what horrors goes on in that house every time when Nika leaves at night. J leaving at night for what? Just to go to fucking eateries and go stupid ass bingo. No, you don't need to leave. Bitch, you have a fucking baby. You chose to keep on having kids, knowing that you wanted to get up and rip and run around whenever the fuck you want to. So you gonna keep your stupid ass there. I don't give a fuck if um Papa's 18. He not watching after nobody. Lee is 13. Leave her the fuck alone. That's not her damn baby. You know, my fucking nerves. Whatever, when she coughs, he, he trying to say it's not me because it's just a little bit of snot um, or whatever they call it, something coming out of her mouth. But then they didn't see nothing wrong. But she's in her walking down, walking around. She in the kitchen area over there on that side, talking with Naya, walking around on that side over there in her walker. So um, I'm continuing on praying for Sai, but she's doing really good. Just, you know, want to make sure everything was okay because I know due to the wine and stuff of that nature, I just wanted to make sure she was okay. But the world will never understand what it's like to be a mom, you know, unless they're a mom themselves or they actually want to the same situation I'm going through. We're having multiple kids and, you know, it's, the weather changes, they get sick. We get sick as adults. And, you know, there's a lot to deal with when you have a lot of children, you know, multiple kids. In him. Yeah, so a lot of kids and you're not ever fucking there. That's what it is. A lot of kids and you're not fucking ever there. You're not ever present for your kids. Let's go ahead and um play this part. I believe it's right here. This one ain't like the other one. Whatever we going. You better take that gum and chew it healthy. Well, prior to this, when they was making, when she was stirring for days, stirring his damn beanies and weenies for fucking days, it seems like. I mean, come on. Naya was in the background saying that the kids didn't eat last night. They threw the food out. Well, it's one of two things, Mika. Either you gave them junk food before it was time to eat, or... The food was nasty. More than likely, since your kids are used to your cooking, they have a palate, so their they, their palate has adjusted to your cooking. So more than likely, it's because you gave them fucking junk before it was time to eat. Just like you're giving Nana gum before she's about to eat. She's about to eat in like two minutes. Why give her gum? Why does she need gum? She don't even need it after fucking dinner. It's time after dinner. I look because Lord knows it's fucking late. After dinner, wash up and take your asses to bed. I mean, goodness gracious, this bitch is dumb. I cannot. Hey, girl, we about to get ready to go in here and fix food. And everybody about to eat, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this video. I'm going to talk to you guys about a little bit of things, too, as well. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the vlog with Nika and I'm getting ready to go to bed. Of course, I'm a little bit tired and still stressed out from yesterday. So I'm doing everything step by step. And I also got to take the kids' clothes out, too, as well. So I definitely got to head back there in the room, get their clothes out for school. This week has been going really good. Everybody has been getting up on time. We have everybody out the door on time. Everybody has been catching the bus. So for one person missed one day because they missed the bus, of course, you can't come every time you turn around, but you know, be outside that door. But everything has been going good. Um, and they've been going to school on time, getting out of school on time, everybody catching the bus to and from school. And tomorrow is Wednesday, hump day. In about two hours, it'll be hump day. Wednesday, where we can get over this little hump here. And then they got another week or two. Um, so... This is how you know what Nika's lying. This is another way. She she constantly repeats the same thing over and over. Right now, she just said the kids, they've been going to school. She said about like three times every day this week. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. 
I guarantee. Like, bitch, why why are you saying it on like, C, like CPSK attain the um the kids um school records? Like they can't reach out and see if the kids have have actually been going to school or whether they've been late or on time or whatnot. Come on now, you don't have to lie. Like every time when she lies, she always she keeps on repeating it over and over just so people can get it. Like, oh, okay, yeah, they're going. No, they're not. No, they no, they have not. She done this before. In one of her vlogs a while back, I think it was probably just a couple of months back. I don't feel like looking for it because it's too bitty. Um, she it was it was payday. Her and Naya was in a car. Um, she said that she was going to go pick up some McDonald's for Leah. Hmm. Okay, okay. She said that she texted Leah while Leah was at school asking her what did she want from McDonald's. Leah had texted her at me, Nika's dumbass, show the fucking text on the screen, right? Nika said, I mean, you know, um, whatever. Leah told her what she wanted, and Nika said, okay, I'll be there in a minute. I thought you said she was at school. Okay. Now, during that vlog, Nika kept on saying that Leah was at school. I guarantee you, she said it like three or four times that Leah was at school. Baby, we just saw the text message. You, you told her that you was going to be there in a minute. You did not say, oh, well, I'll see you when you get off the, uh, when you get home from school. It'll be there when you get home from school. You said, I will be there in a minute. And mind you, Sai, um, Nana was not with them. While they, while they were out there at the eateries. Because, you know, they went to that um, place that they always be going to getting a chicken and fries. The, the little kids wasn't with them. So you kept Leah at home so that she could um, babysit Sai and Nana for you. That's why. So you have this girl missing school. She's already behind. So you have her miss a school just to watch your kids while you go out there and spend money on yourself. Okay, yeah. So that's how you know she lies. I mean, that's how you know what she lying when she keep on repeating herself. <clears throat> hey, All right, so let's go ahead and get to this next video real quick. Where is it at? Uh, leave us, wait. Yep, right here. Yep. Listen, you're here. Now this one, she's going to go pick up size medicine. I believe Dorant was well, about to start. Y'all see. Like, oh, uh, I went by the drugstore. They had to order her medicine. So I was like, okay, let me just go pick it up now since they, they called me to um, tell me to come get it because they got the order in. I've been giving her Tylenol for the um, first two nights. I'm about to go pick up the medication. So you mean to tell me? I'm confused at what fucking pharmacy this is because, uh, uh, well, uh, pharmacy, you drop the stuff off. The pharmacy call you two days later to come, come pick up the medicine. Uh, what? Huh? Nika, please stop it. Please stop. Please stop with the bullshit. Please stop with the bullshit. Amoxicillin is what pharmacies keep on deck. They they have that on deck. So stop with the bullshit. The longest you have, you have to wait. You you'll get that within a set with what well, within an hour. Stop it, stop it, bitch. Talking about fucking two days later, bitch. Overdosing the baby on fucking Tylenol. The hell I've been giving her Tylenol for the past two nights. Really, what the fuck is wrong with you? So you overdosing? Y'all gonna see what I'm talking about when I say she's overdosing the baby, right? Let's continue. Take that. I gotta ask them um, to refill the Tylenol too. So I gotta ask them to refill that Tylenol. Follow it just about gone. She get refills on it up until next year. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them up and then um, she got. So you gave her that much fucking Tylenol to where they have to fucking refill it two days later. Get the fuck up out of here. Get the fuck up out of here. Overdosing a baby just to keep her quiet on Tylenol for two days straight. Oh my fucking got, like, five more refills. And they got it um, at this um, at this uh drugstore here. Hopefully they do. But anyways, y'all get ready to go do this and handle that and um handle some stuff right there. Once I do all that, then I'm So in order for a side to remain quiet, 
in order for Sai to remain quiet and so that Nika could leave the house without the kids calling her, t- 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 talking about um, the babies crying or whatnot, she overdoses her with Tylenol before she heads out for her night getaways. What, what the fuck? Oh my goodness gracious. Like I said before, I'm, I'm glad, but I'm just shocked that Sai is still here with us today. I'm shocked being in this household with this, this stupid, ignorant, selfish mother. And then having, you know, older siblings who shouldn't, I mean, well, never mind. They have Mika as a mom. So I, I can't, I can't say that they should actually know better. We had, once again, we had high hopes for Naya, but baby, that's, that, that, that's went down the drain now. I mean, oh my goodness. Cause she just as dumb as her fucking mom. Oh my goodness. Poo me. My head back towards the house. Kids should be coming home from school soon. Get into the kitchen, make them a sandwich or two. Before I cook dinner later on tonight. Last night I had chicken and fries. Last night they had nuggets and fries. But don't care, throw that thing up. They had pizza first and then um, they had nuggets and fries. So they were just like so happy. Shut your dumb ass up. Shut the fuck up. She talking about that fucking video where she went to go buy her the kids um some pizza. That's the only thing they fucking ate that day. Talking about they had some nuggets and fries, but you only saying nuggets and fries because we saw you eating fucking that chicken and fries that you that you claim a bookie had bought you. The fuck. Oh, so so now we know just to get Mika out the house, we have to send her money for her to go, you know, um eat at night. And then we can send a cop over there to do a fucking wellness check to check up on them kids and watch them pull up to a whole bunch of madness. Kids all outside running everywhere. Neighbors running in and out the fucking house. Come on, baby. Lord knows where. She might be out in the middle of the fucking field. Goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness. I cannot. I cannot. Like, Nika, you, you what's wrong with you? No, seriously. We know you're, we know you're watching. What the fuck is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I mean, goodness, girl. I'm not going to keep on saying your age. You're 40 years old. Why do you act the way that you act? What is wrong with you? Bitch going to keep on trying to bring up. I done went through a lot when I was younger. <laughs> Bitch, we don't give a fuck. Bitch, you're older now, ho. The fuck? You got kids to take care of. How many times? I'm not gonna keep a fucking telling you. You cannot leave that fucking baby there with the, with um the, them kids. Nobody's fucking looking after her. I'm not gonna keep on telling you. Keep your stupid ass at home. Shit, you had her. You gonna fucking take care of her. That's the nigga with my girl. What? I ain't had that app and I ran fast. I ran real fast. I hit these glasses now because they're not being. They've been and you can't look at the little truck. You can't straighten them up. The weather looks great. The traffic is very steady. Oh, well, Nika, we don't want to see you driving in the car. We don't want to see no road. We don't want to see that. We want to see new conscience. I mean, when I try to show a new conscience with the kids, it's like I always be saying, it's like somebody got something negative to say. Like, they was like, don't pay no attention. Nah, I try to leave the comments on to give y'all a chance to speak freely, but I can't do that. Y'all, y'all just not, y'all not agreeing with me. Y'all just going against me. So I'm like, what new counts are they going to see? Because the only thing I do is mother duties and do my daily routine. And I go in stores. I show when I'm um, like doing certain things, cooking. I mean, what else? I know what else I can do with the kids, but I just refuse to put them on camera all the time when I know, you know. Yeah, because you're not ever around them, Nika. That's why you don't want to put them on camera. The fuck? They're not kept They're not kept up together. I mean, the fuck? Boys need hair because girls need hair done. I mean, you don't want people to keep on pointing out that they're wearing the same clothes that they wore yesterday. You don't want people to keep on pointing out that the clothes are dirty. But you're walking around here in brand new clean clothes. I mean, what? What? These are things that you don't want people to point point out. You're not ever around anyways to be recording with them. The only time you're there is when you're cooking. And that's rare. Now, that's rare. I mean, the kids are lucky that they're even getting a meal a day. If anything, I mean, shit, they probably got to go up in there and fucking eat frozen um, vegetables. Oh, never mind, she don't have vegetables. 
I don't know. Uh, yeah, she, uh, she, damn, she don't got shit. They're probably eating them stale ass taco shells. My goodness. Way people be acting about the gigs. So I try to keep them out of camera as much as possible. But I do put them on cameras like I'm in the kitchen or we outside or it's fine. we got more stuff like that. I'm videos. I'm just showing what I was doing in that day. Oh, wait, wait, wait. She got mad at the people. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. So, we got to go ahead and get into this part. Man. We got to hurry up. But let's go ahead and get into this part real quick. So, Naya started to talk about her college credits or whatnot. Let's go ahead and see this real quick. Now to keep a lot of that conflict down and keep people talking to you. Anyways, I'm going to let y'all see what the weather looks like. But there's no cloud on top. I'm going to watch my face with that for a minute. Get you those lumps on the light because I'm going to Oh, wow. I just got an email from my new school that I'm going to January 10th. They uh, said they got my official transcripts from the school that I'm at now. They said um, go into your um, uh, academic plan to see what track. Um, Credit they transferred. They transferred twenty seven credits to the school. Yeah, I'm saying for so from the college I'm at now to the college I'm going to go to, they got already. I already got twenty seven credits. So they put me at an earlier graduation. Now I'm supposed to be graduating. Why does that sound so rehearsed? Like I don't know. Like I don't. It just sounds so rehearsed. Oh my god, the college that I'm going to, they just transferred twenty eight credits. Yeah, yeah. That was, like it sounded so rehearsed. Like girl. <laughs> Calm down. You graduated already. Now you about to go to another college. Right. For your bachelor's or whatever. Right. No, she did not. Why is Nika so stupid? Bitch, she never graduated. She already said that before. I mean, be before you even mentioned that she graduated. She said that she's about to graduate early when she goes to this so-called new college. Air quotes. Come on. Oh my goodness, Naya, please stop it. Please stop it. I'm really trying to understand, like, okay, well, like, girl, when, when were you ever, like, we don't ever see you with a computer. Your mom has a fucking um, phone on 24 fucking seven. We don't see you doing anything on the laptop that you, that you have. And then now your mom's talking about graduate. Let me go ahead and run it back to see if we can go ahead and see if I can go ahead and catch um, Naya saying that she'll um, he's not graduating. Yeah, they transfer, graduate. They transferred twenty seven credits to the school. They graduate from that college. Yeah, I'm saying for so for the college I'm at now to the college I'm going to go to, they got already I already got twenty seven credits. So they put me at an earlier graduation. Now I'm supposed to be graduating. You graduated already. Now you about to no dummy. She said it'll put her at an earlier graduation. She never graduated, Nika. With your scamming dumbass. Girl, stop it. Stop. Nika, just shut up. Didn't I tell you? Shut up. Don't say nothing. If you're going to lie, just shut your fucking mouth. Don't say nothing. I go to another college. Right. For your bachelor's or whatever. Right. That's good. I'm going to be graduating early. Get for her bachelor. You know what? Yeah. I'm done. Yeah. That's so good. I didn't know I finished that thing today. They try to say you just ain't fucking elementary school. I mean, you know, high school? High school. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, like, people be tripping on the internet. Like, they don't. They saw my. They're not, they're not, like, seeing people live. Like, I'll just go on and on and on about people's lives. Like, I'd be like, what is these people talking about? They don't need to follow them up if you know it's true. Say anything about my baby ear. Like, they're going across the internet about the baby ear. Like, shut the fuck up. I'm like, this ain't your kid. Shut up. I'm yeah, that's the thing. We more concerned about her than you are. The fuck? It's like we are the parents. I mean, what? The people have to provide everything for you and your kids. The fuck are you talking about? Like, why Why are the people more concerned about your, your about your baby than you are? The people been telling you to take her to the doctors. The people been telling you that there was something wrong with her. You dumbass. You too fucking self-centered. You too worried about yourself that you don't see nothing else. You too busy out there. And not in the house taking care of your baby that you chose to have. You, it's your child. You don't, you no, know, bitch, no. If if a responsible adult over the age of 40 is not in that house when you and Naya wants to roam the fucking streets, bitch, you better not leave. 
bet not leave. I make videos. I'm just showing what I was doing in that day. Like we here at the drugstore. Why do you think this is Thank you for choosing CBS Pharmacy. Okay. If you're dropping off a new prescription, please make sure the name, address, data. All right, y'all. So she's going to go ahead and show us this um, bottle of Tylenol. So I, I'm thinking that it was like a small, like, infant Tylenol bottle, baby. Y'all will see. Y'all will see. Because she, like, she she drank this up in two days. Are you happy to say that? You're excited to say that? I mean, what the fuck? CPS, where you at? What? Birthday? 2022. Hurry the fuck up. Okay. Yeah. I, I got my ID card. I got my ID. I'm gonna back up a little bit. This is what I want last night. I got only four dollars left. I don't think it's easy. Mm -hmm. You did not need to y'all like that. That was yeah. so ugly. Oh, it's right here. The Tylenol. I've been giving her, but they got the other one in the um the thing, so they got to refill it. It's the Tylenol, right? This is the Tylenol right here. I was giving her. The tylenol I was giving my baby. Uh, it's almost empty. I'm gonna get them refill it. Yeah, she liked that one. Okay. Is that even an infant's Tylenol? Um, she got a mixer. You like it, huh? Get her up. Give her a bath. Well, give her medicine first. Give her a little bath. Wash her little hair. Some fresh clothes on. Rub her down with some of that baby lotion. Feed her. I'm about to cook. So Nika gave that baby all that Tylenol that's in our bottle for the past two days. Because she she was too lazy to go pick up the fucking medicine. Stop stop with the excuses talking about the medicine wasn't ready. Bitch, two that two whole days and they didn't have none. Stop it. Stop it. Ooh. Relax. I like my shirt. It says she knows. No, we, we don't. We don't give a fuck. They didn't have it. They had to order it. I mean, I said that like couldn't come to the window. And I had to blow the horn and knock on the window. That's crazy. He had the audacity comes to the window with Addison. Hmm? Look at what I said, Let me get her some sour patch. I got four dollars worth of her some sour patch. And the other kids asked for some um, rain drops. You can stop giving them kids all that candy. When I was a kid, I never had candy. All of the AirPods I bought are right now, really. Bitch is retarded. Bitch is, she's retarded. I can't, I cannot, I cannot. Talking about when she was a kid, she couldn't, ha she couldn't have no candy. Okay, so that means you give your kids candy now? I'm, I'm just, I, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Let's go ahead and go over to her um other video real quick so I can hurry and wrap this up because my, um my computer's about to die on this laptop. Uh, let me see. Where is it at? Okay, yeah, here it is. Hold on, let me go get my. I'm gonna go ahead like this play. I'm gonna go get my truck. I bought everything I want to make sure all my kids are happy. Why can't these rules be right in my house when I come in my household? That's why I say when I make a YouTube video, I show the world what we do. It's the real shit. It's the real shit. Everybody all over the internet, but nobody wanna do nothing, yo. And I don't with none of y'all. Do y'all get accused in this household? Answer the question. Nobody get a weapon in this house, yo. Nobody. If you stand and do your side, come here, go hang up the line. I need to go. I mean, why 
why did she make it a big deal to always say and to always ask the kids, do y'all get whoopings? Do y'all get whoopings? See, hey, tell it. Tell them. Tell them that how y'all don't get whoopings. Girl, that's, I mean, girl, listen, baby, you don't whoop your kids. Okay, that's on you. That's on you. I mean, what? I mean, listen, when people t tell you to whoop your kids, they're not talking about abuse them, pop them a couple of times because some of them need to be popped, okay? You are allowed to pop your kids. You are. Now, if you, if you leave in um, bruises and marks or whatever after you get them, pop them, okay, that's a bit excessive. You don't need to be doing that. But pop them, that's it. Nobody will you kids and y'all eat out the dick. I'm tired of this shit every time I come in this fucking house. Huh? Only, piece, only piece of love I have in this house is when I go to Beagle. Every day of my life, I gotta come in this house, I gotta cook, I gotta clean. Cooking and cleaning. Uh, That's fucked up. That was real fucked up. So basically, she just told her kids the only time that she, that she, Basically, from what I got from it is the only time when she's actually happy is when she's at bingo. She come home, then she's in hell, but she leaves out to go to bingo. That's the only time when she's happy. <sighs> Let's continue real quick so I can hurry to wrap this up. Uh, Cooking is my job. That's my job, make sure y'all eat. But cleaning up behind y'all nasty ass ain't my job, bro. Not nasty. I'm tired of yeah. hot that shit for the I'm tired of hot. Oh, you a bad parent? I ain't no bad parent. Y'all don't listen. Y'all don't listen. Make sure you put your ass out that door behind the boys all day long. I don't want to be your choice. And you get mad and get fucked up. A lot of people get mad and tell him he don't want to live with no more because he want his phone. And I took his phone away from him because he didn't want to do his choice. Oh, he don't want to be here no more. Good luck, Giddy. But who's tell your mom? Real life in my situation. Welcome to my town. All the dishes dirty. I clean the kitchen up all the time. I got them in here now. I clean up. Watch yourself. I got Kai over there. She finished her flow. All of them over there on that side. Leo sweeping the flow on that side. And she over here on this side kicking something. I don't know what he kicking. Kieran Lane is just sitting here. Get this up right here. That's what I'm talking about. That's what CPS needs to see when they're not in this household. That y'all don't want to do nothing in this house. I told that lady when she came here. My kids don't listen to nothing I have to say. It should not take y'all daddy to walk into this house and say, okay, clean the house up and y'all jump right on it. Why can't Let's pause. All right. So we know CPS recently came to visit Nika. Um, I probably had questions as to why is it filthy in her house? Um, she blames, see, listen, she all, it's always the blame game with her. She never takes accountability. It's never her fault. She's, she blames the kids immediately. Oh, it's their fault. They don't listen to me. I keep on telling them to do this and that, but they don't listen to me. They want to do whatever they want. You want, you know, Nika, you cannot blame them. It's on you. You're their man. You're their mother. Unfortunately, you know, even though they don't see you as their mother, though. They don't. You don't, you don't, because you don't care, Nika. You're always out and about and you're not in your house enforcing things. Let me tell you something. Because we know you're listening. Let me tell you something. So wait, first, before I get off topic. So we we know that the CPS lady just recently stopped by. And then, so we know, now she says, when Hayward comes over, he tells them to clean up and they heard them jump to do it, right? So Hayward comes over, right? So, well, more than likely, he probably pops up on the 21st, just like Chris does, to collect some, just to get some money, probably give her a hug, make her feel good, tell her that she's pretty, and she gives him money, and he goes about his business to the next hoe. But, Nika, you can't all see this. She gets like this. Like, it's just these random outbursts. Like, what's going on? Are you fiending? Are you... What? You need somebody to send you a cash app to go eat something? I mean, what is it? Because it, she act, she gets this way um, often. And it's just like she gets into like this episode where she's just moving fast and trying to clean and do everything and then yelling at the kids, telling them how nasty they are. But you're on, you're on video telling your kids that they're nasty asses. 
I mean, maybe they did tell their friends about the, your, your YouTube channel. Maybe they didn't. But you're on. You're talking shit about your on your own kids that you don't want nobody else to talk shit about. Okay. All right. But the thing is, Nika always thinks she just she just pops up out of nowhere and starts yelling at them. But then the next day, or within what the next two hours, I gar I guarantee you, after this, she gave them candy. It's a guarantee. She gave them some junk food. Guarantee that she that's what she did. They don't take you serious. You don't enforce anything. But how can you enforce anything when you're always gone? I mean, goodness gracious. Girl, how many times people got to tell you to get some structure in that house, to get these kids on a schedule? How many times? How many times? Let's go ahead and take a look at Nika's breakdown because she, bro she broke down at the um, the sink. Oh, oh, no, come here, watch y'all. Yeah, no. They gotta see how y'all live, yo. They call me a bad mom, but look what the fuck I go through every day in this house. I'm trying to protect everybody in this goddamn house. I'm tired of the bullshit in here, man. Every day of my life, I'm doing whatever I can to buy for 10 fucking kids by myself. By myself? And y'all can't tell you working through this shit together? I need the help with his dude. This is supposed to be done right now, yo. Look at this mess, man. Look at this safe, man. Look at the mess. I still have to do this by myself. So we're in all this yelling. Where the fuck is Papa at? Where's Naya? The only kids I saw was I. We just saw Kaya, CHJ doing something, uh, probably moving a, a towel across the floor, trying to clean it up or whatever the hell he doing. Um, think we see Leah in a minute. The little kids is just right there. Um, I don't. I don't think I saw um, Elijah maybe sleep. Isaiah probably sleep too. But where is Pop? Where are the two oldest? Where, where are your two oldest kids? Where are they at? Why the fuck aren't they not out there getting yelled at with everybody else? Bills are paid. And y'all running the internet to light bill up. She ain't fucking free. I ain't got to take everything you want to say. I'm tired of this shit here, man. Turn. Turn. All right, so we just stop it right there. Now, you know what? After this, you know what? What Naya should have did instead of um, going over there to hug her mom, what she should have did was just say, Mom, I'll go ahead and do the dishes. That's what she should have did. How well she didn't by the way, y'all, she didn't she didn't say that to her after this. The thing that instead of rubbing on me, bitch, say you want to do the fucking dishes. Do these dishes. How about that? How about that? That's the thing. Nika always wanna have these fucking outbursts out of fucking nowhere when every all this is her fault. The reason why the kids don't clean is her fault. The reason why the house is a mess is her fault. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. We didn't seen this hoe. Hold on. We didn't seen this. <clears throat> Excuse me. We didn't seen this hoe. Get up. Remember when Papa had got that computer and she and she was opening the box? And the amount of trash that we seen on that floor. And then we saw like a, a lot of brown shit on there. We didn't know if it was fucking chocolate cake or shit or anything. Like the amount of mess and trash. And she was about to head off the fucking house. She got up early to leave out. They see you getting up and leaving, walking over trash. She scooted trash out the way so Papa could put his computer on that stand. Bitch, you could have scooted it in a trash bag. No, she just scooted it out the way. 
creating more trash everywhere. I mean, girl, you're not a good example, Nika. This is your fault. This has nothing to do with the kids. It's not your fault. The fuck? What you think? What you think you showing us this video? What you think we gonna be like? Oh yeah, girl. Now we see what you going through. Them kids, they need to start cleaning up. No, they need to get it together. No, bitch, you need it to get it together. You, you do. It's your fault. You have no structure. There's no schedule. You don't stick to nothing. In order for these kids to start doing the right things, you need to take your retarded ass to Dollar Tree since that's where you go all the time. Get you stuffed in like one of those whiteboards that they have up there or something to where you can write each kid's name down. And I mean each kid from Nana all the way up to Naya's lazy ass. Write each kid on a paper. Let Give them a fucking chore for the week. Each one of them. Let them know that they are to do this chore every fucking day. Every day. If the chore is not done, you will take away whatever device that they love. Whatever they love, you take it away. For Papa, you snatch your fucking cords off that computer. The kids, whatever, it's phones, tablets, whatever the fuck they have, uh, their little um, Chromebooks or whatnot, take that shit away from them. For uh, like N Nana, I mean, I'm pretty. I think I've been seeing Nana on the phone too. From Nan for Nana, don't give her ass no candy. Don't give her shit. You have to stick with it. Keep your stupid ass at home and stick to the damn schedule. You have to enforce it. This is not going to happen overnight. Especially for them. They're not used to a schedule. You want to know why HJ was calling you, crying to come home, crying because he wasn't able to get seconds? It's because that foster family that they was placed with, they had a fucking schedule. Your kids are not used to a schedule. They had to follow for one time and they like they had to follow a fucking schedule and they didn't like it. It's something that they're not used to. They're used to doing whatever the fuck they want to do. You cannot do that. You have to stick with it. You have to you have to keep your retarded ass at fucking home and enforce it. And I'm not talking about stay home for one day, bitch. This is going to take more than one day, more than one week for your bunch. They don't do their chore for the day. You take their shit. They act up. You If you don't want to fucking pop them a couple times, put their ass in fucking time out. They get up, you walk their ass back over there to time out, and the timer restarts for their asses. And it depends on how old they are. I, I'm confused. Like, what's going on? We Everybody, we keep on telling you the same shit on what you should fucking do. This is not the kid's fault. It's yours. So stop trying to think you about to make your kids look bad. There's no way that you can make these kids look bad. Because it's on You. You. So sick of this hoe. How how much time we in? Okay. Ooh, oh my goodness, I'm on another long video. Okay, but yeah, you have to enforce the rules. You have to enforce it. And if they they don't get their shit back until they do their chore, once they do their chore, you let them know next time. If they if they don't do their chore, then you're gonna keep the the stuff, whatever you take from them, you're gonna keep it for a couple of days. Days. Until they get the, the message that the shit has to be done every fucking day. You keep your ass in that house. You don't got to fucking work. You don't got to go out there and work. Your work is fucking YouTube. You can make videos in your damn house. Like you been doing. The fuck? I don't want to see your dumb ass coming back on here calling these kids nasty asses. Bitch, you're the fucking nasty ass. Shit. Want to keep on running around, keep on having popping out all these babies and shit, just to prove a point to whatever chick hey we're messing around with. And now what? Look at you, look at you. Nobody, nobody, nobody has sympathy for you. I don't give a fuck about you fucking crying. Nobody has no sympathy for you. You're not going to get it here. You're not. You're not. Sorry. No, no, we're not doing it. Fuck your sympathy. Not getting here. But yeah, y'all. That's it for this big dirty bird. We, I will go, go ahead and catch you guys. Um, I don't know. I may, since it's early, I'm going to drop this. 
yeah, since it's early, I may be back with another one tonight. Listen, y'all, listen, man. Yeah. Lipstick, she ain't got long. The people getting fucking, the people getting mad. She better come with these receipts. I know that. She better come out. Jazz is getting cocky. Now I'm starting to believe that there, there may not be no um there, there may not be no video of an altercation between her and Jazz. So because Jazz is too cocky. She too cocky. She like, bitch, release the fucking video. I mean, you can release it in segments, but we're going to get into that in another video. I'm going to go ahead and catch y'all later. Go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and comment your thoughts down below and subscribe if you have not already. I will catch you guys later. Peace.